In any given situation, the pitch of your holder will affect your balance, your glide, and your ability to generate power. The pitch is measured between the line from the heel to the toe and the ice. A pitch can be neutral or you can call it flat, uh, which is beneficial in the first phase of a stride and also in a turn. A pitch can also be more aggressive, which is beneficial in the push-off phase of a stride. And most players uh, just use the standard neutral one and don't really think about how much it affects their skating. Other players uh, modify it to make it more aggressive by sharpening or adding shims at the heel. To make it easier to understand how different pitches affect your skating, we've created one pair of skates with very aggressively pitched holders and one pair with a very neutral pitch, adding shims. And here we're using traditional holders, so not the Marsblade i2s. So this is the very aggressively pitched holder and this is the very neutral one. Uh, these pitches are of course very exaggerated, but it's just to make the pros and the cons more evident for each one. Not to say that one is better than the other. So now I'm hitting the ice with the traditional holders. We shimmed up the toe to get the neutral pitch. Yeah, so right off the bat, uh, it's pretty obvious that the turns are great because you're not ending up on the heels digging into the ice as much. So you can maintain that strong position, a lot of steel on the ice. So another big benefit is uh, we talked about the load phase in the early part of the stride where you want to uh, get the knees over the toes in that strong, powerful position. It's really easy to get there when the toe part is pushed up, but also backwards, same thing there. Uh, it's really easy to generate power. So if we then look at the downsides of this neutrally pitched holder, it becomes evident at the end of the stride where you're going to find yourself up on the toes way too quick outside the glide zone where the, the radius on the steel is very small and uh, it's going to negatively affect your glide but also your uh, support to generate power, so not great. So now I've talked about uh, the pros and the cons uh, in terms of a stride, but uh, any movement you do on the ice, uh, a, a turn or a transition from forward to backwards, uh, they all have these phases, the load phase and the push-off phase. A turn, it's a load and a push-off phase, or when you're making a transition, it's a load and a push-off phase. So the principle is still the same. All right guys, so now it's time to try these very aggressively pitched traditional holders. It's going to be interesting, let's do it. They feel honestly a bit weird. They are very aggressively pitched, these holders, uh, but there are some obvious benefits. Uh, not surprisingly, really far out uh, in the push-off phase where the steel stays on the ice uh, really long. Uh, to give you that support to generate power and maintain uh, that glide. You can uh, really feel it in crossovers on the outside edge. Whoa! <laughs> the obvious downside uh, with these aggressive holders is uh, turning. Um, you end up on the, the heels really quick, so like you just saw, it's hard to maintain a good balance and good glide. So if we look at the load phase of the stride and compare it to the neutral pitched holder, you want to get that uh, good knee bend, knees over, over toes and a good uh, connection with the front of the blade. And this high heel makes it really challenging. I have to lean forward a lot, forcing me almost to, to fall over to get that good uh, connection. That's an obvious downside. It's hard to get that good preload and good uh, connection with the front of the blade in the load phase. So with this in mind, do you believe that the fixed pitch of a traditional holder is ideal to maximize support, power, stability and glide going through all the different body positions and movements in a game? So now I've tested these traditional fixed holders with extreme pitches. It was pretty awkward at first, to be honest, but it really did make the pros and the cons very obvious at different parts of my stride. 
It's just inevitable that uh, traditional holders, uh, regardless if you're on a standard pitch like this, or if you have modified it with sharpening or shims, it will always be fixed and therefore a compromise, limiting your performance. So we developed the i2 holders utilizing flow motion technology, adding a moving contact point between the holder and steel from the center and back. This provides you with a dynamic pitch that always optimizes steel contact to the ice as the pitch angle automatically adjusts throughout the stride. And as opposed to having just one fixed pitch, this gives you the advantages of having a span of pitch angles, maximizing stride power, glide speed and stability. Check out our other videos to learn more about how the i2s help you improve your performance on the ice.